Rocket launchers can be pretty tricky, so today in this video, I'm gonna go over the best launcher to use in Call of Duty. Welcome back to COD 4 Days, let's get into the video. 5 Target Accuracy In a fast-paced fight, shot accuracy matters a lot, and if you are not able to frequently land your shots, then it is a recipe for disaster. Out of the bunch, Pila is probably the least accurate launcher. The rockets, even when locked, take a random path swerving left and right, making it very unreliable, especially for long ranges. Sometimes, even when it is locked onto a moving target, it tends to miss making it a very hard choice. Strella, on the other hand, is completely opposite as it offers brilliant accuracy. One can mistake this weapon for a sniper. Joker is the most accurate launcher in the game, but there is a catch. It is only accurate if the intended target is standing still. Otherwise, there is a high chance of the rocket missing, leaving you handicapped with an empty launcher. The RPG is better than the Pila, but it is still pretty bad at long ranges. You have to be very lucky in order to hit your shots, but when they do hit, it is an instant kill on the enemies. All the comparisons led to the Joker being the best launcher available as long as you have good aim and good game sense. If you shoot it in the rear, you can get a critical damage multiplier, but I just wanted to keep things nice and consistent and look at kind of- Number 4 Types of Launchers Currently, Call of Duty Multiplayer Mode, which includes Warzone, offers up to four different choices when it comes to rocket launchers, namely Pila, Shrella, Joker, and the good ol' RPG. While all these are weapons from the same category, each of them have their pros and cons with regards to multiple factors that may affect gameplay positively or negatively depending on your playstyle. Good job at it. If, you, if they were to just have one launcher in this game, I would want this to be the one because it does everything. Number 3, Area of Effect and Damage. The area of effect can be deduced by the damage radius which each of these weapons have. The largest damage radius belongs to the Joker, which can destroy enemy lines within a 15 meter radius, with the center being the area of impact. The best part about the Joker is that its damage does not decrease significantly throughout the area of effect, unlike the RPG, whose damage radius is 10 meters, but the damage per meter decreases significantly when moving away from the point of impact. Joker also does a maximum of 300 damage, which is almost twice in that of the RPG, and more than twice in that the Strela and the Pila can do at best. Strela and Pila also have a considerably low area of effect, coming in at 5.5 meters and 7.5 meters respectively. Blowing up people on the ground, good secondary launch that you can switch to in a tight- Number 2 Usability One of the most important aspects of a weapon in a fast-paced game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare is its mobility and usability. When it comes to usability, the reload time and time to fire matter a lot. The Joker launcher may deal the highest damage and have the largest damage radius, but it also takes almost 2 good seconds to lock onto a target before being able to fire the rocket. It means that the enemy will have 2 seconds to react and kill you while you are just standing trying to lock onto him or her. Also, if you end up missing your shot, it will take another 2 seconds to reload the launcher with a rocket, which means you have to wait almost 4 seconds in order to get your second rocket away. The RPG is the best launcher in this regard, as it has a fire time of just over half a second and can be reloaded in under 2 seconds. While Strela and Pila are just as quick as the RPG when it comes to their time to fire, they lag behind in reload times, performing even worse than the Joker at over 4 seconds. If the weapons are amped, then the reload times can be decreased significantly, making the Joker the most viable option out of the 4. Number 1, Best Launcher to Counter Streaks Longtime Call of Duty fans know how difficult it is to bring down an enemy VTOL, IAV, or Chopper, which are required through kill streaks. With a little team effort, all of them can be destroyed, but the easiest method to dismantle team is by shooting them down using rockets through launchers. Almost all the launchers perform similarly in this regard, taking an average of 3 perfectly landed shots to destroy the enemy vehicle. What matters here is the time to fire and reload time. The RPG can effectively destroy those streaks faster than any other launcher. However, it may take 4 shots sometimes. Same goes for the Strela and Pila, only the Joker guarantees a 3 shot destruction when used against these streak and sealed machines. It has to be kept in mind that landing shots on moving vehicles is not easy, so only this Pila and Joker can lock onto things, making them better than the other two. While the Joker also instills more damage per meter with one shot less than the Pila on average. Big aerial kill streaks, you really gotta get the timing right, and the lead is actually kind of incredible to get UAVs. So on this brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.